it's time to Frankenstein this MicroShift Advent X with some Shimano parts in hopes of finally fixing the derailleur clutch issue. I have no idea if this is going to work out. Let's stick around and we'll find out together. So I should mention, if you haven't seen my last video, go ahead and check that out. I'll leave a card for it up here. It's a detailed review of every little bit of this MicroShift Advent X drivetrain. I've had it on my bike for over two years, although not all of the parts are original. Some of them had to be replaced for various reasons. In that video, my biggest complaint with this entire system is the clutch in the rear derailleur and how it's designed and actually come to find out the more that I've looked at this since I made that video, the problem's even worse than I had realized. So the actual clutch is housed in here and it's kind of like a ratchet wrench where it's a wheel with some teeth in it and then poles that go into that. And one of the problems with that is that it leaves a dead zone before those teeth engage. So you can see just by me pushing on it here, the clutch is not engaging. This is all dead zone free play as if the clutch wasn't even on. Once I get to here, I press harder. Now the clutch is resisting and then you could hear it kind of click back as it went into those teeth. Sometimes this is worse than others now that it's clicked back in. Yeah, we can see it's still moving a lot. Now, not quite as much. It's just all about where that wheel winds up and, and how those teeth go into those. Now, taking a closer look with the cover removed, if I push on the derailleur like I just was doing, you can actually see that this entire assembly where it goes through here, through the clutch, and then back out the back, that entire thing is shifting on the inside. And that's because there's play going back and forth. And tightening this bolt will have no effect on that because this bolt tightens down these washers into the wheel mechanism here. Then there's a little like flange back here where this rod goes the rest of the way through. And the play is back here, it's not up here. So my plan to fix it is to remove the Advent X derailleur and replace it with this Shimano Dior 11 speed derailleur. It's the M5100 SGS. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I really don't know if this is going to work. From the research that I've done, it looks like the two of them use the same pull ratio. The max teeth on this can go up to a 51, so it should be just fine with the 48 tooth on the Advent X cassette. And with the pull ratio being the same, that means I should be able to just replace this in the back, keep the shifter, keep the cassette, and I should be good to go. Now with the Advent X derailleur off the bike, I just want to get a weight on it because weight is one of the main advantages of the Advent X system. A lot of that comes from the cassette. But the derailleur is pretty lightweight too, so let's check this out. 312. Now for the Dior 11 speed derailleur, it feels a little bit heavier in my hands, but let's see what the scale says. 357.5. So a little bit heavier, but nothing too extreme. So I had to adjust one of the limit screws a little bit and now uh, it's fine in the highest gear and it's going into the second highest gear and back down. So this is the moment of truth. Will it actually go the full way up the cassette and back down, meaning that my research was correct about the pull ratio. So let's go ahead, up one, next one, up and in, up, up. All right, it's not going into that highest one. My guess is just one of the limit screws needs to be adjusted. Drop back down to where we're supposed to be. Let's see if that did it. Yep. All 
Oh, that was a little weird there. I'm sure I need to tune it a little bit more, but that is amazing. And let's now check the clutch. The clutch was in the off position while I was doing all this, uh, which obviously you can see it's moving around quite a bit. On a lot of Shimano derailers, the clutch is this big lever here. Push it back, it's now engaged. And right away, I've got tension. Obviously the chain's still moving around a little bit, but not nearly as much as it did before. Well, that was a huge success and I am genuinely relieved and so happy that it's working because I really didn't know if it would. I've done a little bit more tuning. It's going in and out of every gear really well. I am going to loop up my chain because I haven't done that in a while. Um, but yeah, honestly, like I said, I'm, I'm relieved and very happy that this is working. I'm also really happy to be able to share this information with you guys too, because this Shimano Dior derailleur will actually save you money compared to the Advent X. You can find this derailleur for under $50 from reliable online bike parts sellers. And I'll leave some links in the description for this derailleur and then also for the Advent X parts to make this work. I'll also leave a link for an 11 speed chain because I feel like the 11 speed chain is the way to go. It's a little bit narrower on the outside so there's just less for it to rub. I would also caution you from buying these Shimano parts from gray market sellers, uh, things that are overseas. eBay, even if it says that it's located in the US, it may not be a genuine Shimano part. It may be, I don't think it's worth saving 10 bucks or whatever it might be going that route. I'd rather go with a, you know, a legitimate online bike shop or even your local bike shop. I hope you enjoyed this video or got something useful out of my advice here. You know, this is completely unbiased consumer advice. I paid for all these parts and you know, I think it's a really good setup. I think it'll save you some money in the process. On a system, the Advent X, which is already super cheap, you're gonna save even more money by going with this Dior rear derailleur. Also, I need your help in the comments. What do you think I should call this setup? You know, it's a mix of the Advent X and the Shimano Dior. Should it be the Adventore or maybe the uh, Dior Vent X? I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Well, thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next one and I'll see you next time.